Looks like you're in a job interview. Punch, chill out. Now you're looking at yourself. <laughs> How do I look at myself? No. All right. I don't Your hair's nice, the styling's bad, who done it? Whatever. Actually, can we switch? Yeah, that is my good side, so. Alright, switch. Oh, how much better do I look now? <laughs> Going for a job interview. <laughs> so my name's Ryan. Hey guys, welcome back to Hunt. <laughs> it's going to involve a lot of editing, right? Oh my god. Just don't do anything for a minute. Maybe we give him a bloopers. Oh, Hunt, shh. Who's that? Is that you? <sighs> you want it. Fucking right. Right. Are we ready? No. Are we ready to do this? Right. <laughs> Why are you sweating? No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, Mr. Pace and I are going to be doing a couple's Q&A. So this is the man himself. Yeah, I thought we were doing intervention. Intervention. Okay. Just follow me on Instagram. Um, you'd see that I let you guys send us in. Alright, I put up a question box on my Instagram and you guys sent in all your couple questions for Mr. Pace and I to answer. So this is gonna be interesting. Some of them were a bit a bit out there. R rated. Okay. Which we won't answer. Why not? So we'll start off. Before with... we start, can we yeah. um do you reckon we have, got, have a break? Break? We just started. Oh, I'm hungry. You're hungry? I'm oh, sweating. Why are you sweating? Just chill it's out. It's hot. We turn the aircon on. Don't turn the aircon on. Oh my god. We're never going to get started, people. How did you meet? I'll let you answer this one. Okay. My version or your version? <laughs> <Both> <laughs> versions. There's two versions, yeah. Right. Party when we were 17. Yes. Um, it was one of my mate's party and Steph's, yeah, Steph's friend dragged her there. It was um, my first random like teenage party because I was a pretty good teenager. I didn't really do anything bad. Yeah, I was partying for a few years before then. Well, I was a good girl. We got there and then um, we locked eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan followed me around for like the whole party. It, it, was, it was so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Dragging her along the floor. Oh, whatever. Was, they need linked to... onto me foot. Okay, so it was my first random party. Oh my god, the battery's already about to die. That's really annoying. Should I have a break. Anyway, and I had to leave because one of my friends were too drunk. And then he put his number in my phone as Ryan ring me. I was in the taxi on the way home and he rang me straight away. So he's a little bit. <laughs> we'll separate it for two minutes. I couldn't deal. And then he asked me to be his girlfriend like two days later, which I said no because he could have been a serial killer. <laughs> I don't even know you, bro. Like, yeah. anyway, so. Still could be one. Yeah. That's how we met. And then, yeah, so we've been together since we were 17. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. 12 years this year. All right. How do you make parenting look so easy? <laughs> oh, our, our kids are in the cupboard, aren't they? Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, I don't know. It's. Is this what you guys see? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I'm obviously not going to share when the kids are, like, being crazy and we're telling them to go on the naughty corner just doesn't happen, so all that shit happens here, 100%. Like, they do our head in. Yeah, Harper, Harper's probably a bit harder at the moment than I ever imagined. Yeah. It amazes me. Yeah, so it definitely isn't easy to have our moments daily. I do a lot. I think it's just about remembering that even if you're frustrated, you technically aren't frustrated with each other, you're, you're frustrated with the situation. And I think, especially like for me, working from home with the kids, I can get quite frustrated and sometimes I confuse that for frustration at Ryan because he gets to leave the house. But then I remember, no, it's just because I'm frustrated at the situation. Like, I'm not actually frustrated okay. at you. So, next so that's time a good way to think about it. Yeah, next time you're frustrated at me, I'll remember that. No. <laughs> How are you still nice to each other with two kids around? I snap at my partner like crazy. <laughs> um, I just think because we're silly, like we just... Yeah, we, we have little snaps, but yeah. we joke around too much, which is good. Yeah. Yes. We always make a joke and we give each other shit, but like, that's just our relationship. Like, it's a fun thing. Like, we just, Ryan will bag out my outfit or some shit, <laughs> like usual. Many outfits. Many outfits. And then I don't wear them out. But I don't take anything to heart. Like, that's just our relationship. We just bag each other out and think it's funny. And then we just make jokes and about it. And cry. 
in the corner. And I'll tell the other person <laughs> it really affected us. <laughs> Have fun with one another. Yeah, and just take, be lighthearted and just chill out. Yeah. Pretty much. Anyway, do you guys ever fight? Um, we, I guess like every other couple, like we more, we don't have like full on. I get in trouble when I don't clean up enough. That's my. Yeah, I get, I get frustrated because Ryan and me like. You say we fight? No, nah, not fight. No, nah, just. Argue. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we really like argue about is when Ryan like leaves his shit everywhere. That's pretty much the only thing I get angry about. Just... I'm normally right, so <sighs> that's where the disagreements come from. Everyone has arguments. It's just normal. I think like as we've gotten older. I think we're better at communicating though. Unless I'm having a shit day or he's having a shit day. It just depends on everyone's moods. But yeah, I feel like we're a, bit, a lot better at communicating. Depends on the time of the month, really. <laughs> Next question. Who wears the pants? Well, if you look down right now. I don't know. Like I know in my parents' relationship, my mum wore the pants. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know who wears the pants. We'll say 51% me. 51% me, okay. Okay, we'll settle on that then. Uh, how do you two not get bored of the same routine? Lately, we've been talking about this a bit, actually. Like, I feel like as parents, it feels more like Groundhog Day because you're, like, really stuck in a routine, whereas before kids, <clears throat> we could go, like, go to the movies, out for dinner. So we're planning to, like, go out for a night, maybe in a week or two, yeah. just to break the routine up. But I think we're just that busy, both yeah. of us, because we run our own businesses and then kids, like... We we're just, just that busy where we're like passing ships lately like we run our businesses so we're kind of like always just so busy and then by the time you get the kids into bed clean up all that it's crap like 8 it's like 30 and you're done. You just... and then i'm like read my book and go to bed so i think it's just something we all struggle with as parents um especially when your kids are little so i think ryan and i just keep saying it's not gonna be like this forever like once willow's a bit older willow's two at the moment so once she's a bit older we can go on more holidays we want to go to like fiji this year hopefully for yeah. ryan's 30th um, I was saying this on Instagram the other day in the week having little like dinner picnics out the backyard or going to the beach like the other day We went to the beach. Yeah, I think you just gotta I think you gotta plan something ahead Otherwise, you just sort of don't commit to it. Do you? Yeah, it's just something we need to remember that it's not gonna always be like this forever soon enough They're gonna be teenagers and they're gonna be like bye and then we'll be like come back. I miss you What are your love languages? Do you remember this? It's oh, like there's like, yeah, I don't read. It's Come a on. book. So people that don't know what this is, it's like basically there's like five love languages and there's a book about it. What are the five love languages There again? was acts of service, gifts, words of... Affirmation. Or something. something like that. Something to do with like verbal love. I don't know. Quality time. That's one. Yeah. Like spending time together. I think mine were... Um, quality time and acts of service so like if ryan just decides to do the washing oh, that's that, that, an act of love for me <laughs> i thought it was my professional service what? <laughs> and yours i think yours was oh and then there's like physical touch like i yeah. think that was yours maybe <laughs> was that yours i thought this isn't getting all right <laughs> i'm really bad at this but yeah i like when ryan would just like i don't have to ask him to do something and he'll just like take the bins out so like she doesn't have to ask me to go to the pub. I'll just go to the pub. <laughs> so that's one. I like quality time because I think maybe because as parents we don't get as much yeah. of it. You guys are the dream team. Well, that's nice. Does Ryan help with cooking, cleaning? Do you each have set housework jobs? I'll let you answer this one. <laughs> so I'd say the weekends and during the week are different for us. I have my own little schedule that I do. And then Ryan's things to do with like bins, which he never does. Only I guess on a weekday, I will do get home from work or I always do the dishes after dinner. Yeah, so Ryan will do like and, I cook, he'll clean up. Yeah, and then um, sort of putting them to beds 50 50 and then yeah. yeah, sort of. We kind of just play it by ear. We don't really, I think you guys need to like with each couple need to talk about who like each other's expectations and stuff. Definitely are a team. I will just have to ask just because he doesn't know what I'm up to kind of thing. Okay. Does that make sense? I don't know. Your biggest strength as a couple? Hmm. I don't know. That's like a hard one. Mm. I don't take anything too seriously. So that's like even when we're both really stressed, one of us will make a joke out of it usually. Him. <laughs> you gotta fix your hair too. Why? So that's a joke, see? Oh. <laughs> we just yeah. kind of yeah. go with the flow. 
Just I don't know if that's a strain. Yeah, I don't know. It'd just be a team, I guess, maybe. Yeah. To yeah. so have that communication open. So where other couples, they might be like both being a-holes to each other, but they'd never vocalize. Oh, no, it's because of work or it's because of this. Like they'll think it's each other when that's not the case. Does that make any sense? No, no. It no? did, but don't know if it answers the question. Okay. Does social media ever have a negative effect on your relationship? Well, I'll let you answer this because <laughs> um, I'm... When I have to do videos, <laughs> that's most of it when I'm at work anyway, so mm. it's sort of behind the scenes now. Um, yeah. yeah, we're out at the beach, like I'll whip my phone out for a sec and then put it away. A year ago, I only got Facebook and like Instagram, so social media is not very... Ryan's new yeah, to the whole bit thing. Bit of a newbie. Through my Instagram stories, it's usually when Ryan's at work. So by the time he's home, like I'm just cooking dinner and looking after the kids, so that I make sure it doesn't like affect our routine and when he's home and it's kind of like quick it's like with insta stories it's just like a couple minutes of your day i feel like my job aside in any relationship you need to make sure social media is not affecting being on your phone all the time and stuff like that making sure you're actually talking to each other and not you know just have a phone in front of your face does ryan think your bedroom is girly for him nah <laughs> doesn't bother me one i don't think so it's, i don't think nah so. it's not like pink bright pinks and yeah, grays and whites and yeah. and I'm not phased anyway. Yeah, Ryan's pretty good yeah. chill. If Steph wanted to go up there and paint it all purple now, it would not bother me. I would be worried. <laughs> if I wanted to paint upstairs purple. Why not? You would know that I've lost You lost the plot. I've got a screw loose. No offense to those purple walls, just saying. What age did you plan to have kids? So we were together since we were 17 and we got married, I think I was 23 and Ryan just turned 24. So we were pretty young. Mm -hmm. Now that um, we look back, we're young, yeah. Yeah, we're 30 this year. Um, we just felt ready. Yeah, I think because we're all together since 17 too. Yeah. Sort of went from one year, like, not wanting kids. Well, yeah. the whole time not wanting kids, never on our mind. And then yeah. I swear just, next year we're just like, let's have kids. Yeah, yeah. It like, was, it was just like we had this random urge, like, we need to have a baby. Got, yeah. I wouldn't say it was like a plan to when we wanted to have kids. It was just when we felt ready. And for us, it just felt like it was the next stage. Like, we felt like something was missing. Any more babies one day for you both? <laughs> I'll let Ryan answer that one. Oh, we're good. Maybe. <laughs> I feel content. Yeah, family of fours. We both were a family of four, so. Yeah. Ryan's got one brother, I've got one brother. I so think we're, we're, good. we're happy. Yeah, especially for now. Imagine if you had another oh. another girl in the house. Even the dog's a girl. I know. Is it only? <laughs> Too many women. <laughs> Bother you that you had two girls? No, not at all. We, we thought we were going to have boys because yeah. everyone in my family had boys. But Sorry. no, the sex didn't bother me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ryan's good. like the best girl dad ever. Like, he's like, paint my nails, do my makeup, I don't care. He's Put awesome. on my dress. I already <laughs> got one on. What did you find the hardest when becoming new parents? Oh, the sleep. sleep yeah. <laughs> me and Steph can't even have a conversation at night because once I hit the bed, that's it. When he's oh. horizontal, he's asleep. Yeah. So it was hard for me because Steph would be up breastfeeding that and then wanting to have a conversation obviously <laughs> and right it was funny because before ryan became a dad he was a heavier sleeper and now he's like like yeah. that paternal instinct where if he hears like he'll wake up now yeah, yeah except when there's someone trying to break into the house which i hear but it's not real does that happen it doesn't i watch too much crime and ryan hates it because in the middle of the night <clears throat> i'll just be like ryan so think, yeah there'll be something moved in our house the toilet seat <laughs> up. and yeah steph thought someone broke into our house did a wee. And left. left. The <laughs> did still nothing. And yeah. And then the other week we come back and the trampoline was moved. Yeah. No, I'm serious. This tra the trampoline another cr moved. That was another criminal. That was, yeah. Someone definitely broke to a yard and pushed the trampoline. And then four meters to the right. And then they left. Yeah. And then they left. So. And did you say you are more similar or more opposites to each other? I think in terms of like likes and dislikes, the shows we like to watch, we're opposite. <laughs> I like to watch like serial killers and documentaries and Ryan likes to watch oh, any type sport, of sport yeah. and how pencils are made. How it's made is the best show, honestly. I used to like it when I was like 12, but... No, it's educational. <laughs> so serial killers and documentaries. Yeah, but... I love then you, If you watch too much of that, you keep thinking our trampolines moved. Yeah, true. And our toilet seats are. And could so. be a serial killer. Yeah. I like, like our music might be a bit different. He likes emo shit. Not emo, a bit of heavy metal. Screaming. But I'm not a big music buff, but And I yeah. like pop and like R&B and stuff. Like, yeah, like Spice Girls. And... Yeah. <laughs> Does Steph's organizing annoy you, Ryan? I'm used to it now. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there's something. 
I was gonna say where you look there's a box. <laughs> where you look there's a label. <laughs> so it doesn't. No, bother no, you. it doesn't bother me at all. No, no. She does does an amazing job with all her organisation, for sure. I couldn't do it. Does it annoy you though, like that everything has a spot, or it doesn't? No, bother? So I guess it's good. Yeah, it keeps the house you, clean. Yeah, you know where to put. I should know where to put things. I still don't, but he will literally be like, "Where's this?" And I'll be like, "It has a label on it." I'm pretty used to it now, so. <laughs> Yeah, I just, when I go to... He still puts things in the wrong spot, but I just yeah. move them. I just move them back. When I go to sleep, I go into the cupboard labeled wrong. <laughs> and, yeah. I used to not always be disorganized. No, like... no, you're opposite. Yeah. <laughs> when he first met me, I was so messy. It's good, because otherwise he's just, he'd just have to put up with it, because I'm going to organize everything anyway. Do you have different ideas on disciplining your girls? And if so, how do you go with that? No, I think we're pretty much the same. Yeah, no, we're pretty on the same page. I think we're both like, you know how like there can be the one parent that's more stern than the other. I think we're both kind of about the same. And it depends. Like if I'm having a really hard day with the kids and Ryan gets home, he'll be more stern than me because I'm just done. I'm like, no, nah, I don't care. They can eat chocolate for dinner. I'm done. <laughs> um, how do you spend quality time together as a couple without the kids? We have to plan it in advance. Yeah, so like... Today we don't have the kids and yeah. at quality time is shooting this video. <laughs> it's definitely my number one thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I think with us, like I th what we really want to do this year is actually plan reg regular date nights or just like there's Valentine's Day next weekend or the weekend after and we want to go away. Next week. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. So yes, um, yeah, I think it's just planning for that. Did you guys clash with ideas when building your home? We have like different, we have slightly different tastes, just a little bit. <laughs> Ryan, what's your taste? Um, very modern. Yeah. He likes and architectural features and stuff yeah. like that. But I love Hamptons, like really light and bright. Built this house. We didn't really argue on or like disagree with anything. No. Ryan wanted more, like he wanted dark floors and stuff, but I think you happy with him? Yeah, no, I am, yeah. Now, Steph's obviously got better taste than I do, but well, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you like me, so obviously you got pretty good taste. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we we do have slightly different styles, but as I said, like Ryan's pretty chill. Happy wife, happy life, you know what they say? <laughs> hey. Your pet peeves of each other? Well, I know what mine is. Mm. Mine is Ryan leaving stuff everywhere. Because I like clean as I go and Ryan kind of just leaves things everywhere. Probably the only thing that annoys me. I'm going blank now. <laughs> yeah. I'm going blank. I must be perfect, guys. Oh, yeah. Perfect, eh? Yeah. 10 out of 10. I just, there's that much on the list. I just, I'm joking. Nah. Just we'll come back. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. It's clearly. Clearly she's awesome. perfect. How has your relationship changed since having the girls? I felt like I felt when I had half, well, when we had half bar, um, and she's now three, I felt really attached. Like, obviously I was attached to Ryan before, but I felt more attached to Ryan once she was born. Like I always had to have him around and stuff. <laughs> I think, I don't know if it's like, cause I had like postnatal depression and stuff, but I like- Thanks. <laughs> I'm here for you, okay? Thank you. But I just, I don't know. For me, I felt closer. And it, yeah. I mean, when Harper was born, it was very, Teamwork was the main thing, eh? Well, yeah. yeah. It up, did up together on everything, like yeah. every step we're trying to do together because we're new parents. And, yeah. yeah, like we definitely um, brought us closer yeah. together, which was good. Obviously, like any other parent, like you have your disagreements and stuff. Our relationship changed to be closer, um, but yeah, we, I think this year we really need to focus on spending more quality time together. How does Ryan feel about the girls being on Instagram? So our girls. Yeah, doesn't bother me. I, I think don't. I'm not stupid with like I don't yeah, share. Yeah, smart about it, and I'm pretty used to the whole Instagram social media thing now. So yeah, like I'll like, never, I'll never share. Like especially <clears throat> if we go away on holidays and stuff, I'll never share exactly where we are when we're there. And then like when the girls start school, obviously I'm not going to share their uniforms. And as Harper especially grows older, she'll be less on there. And if she says I don't want to be on there, she doesn't want like she won't be on there. Um, essentially the blog is mostly platform for me to connect with other people not for the girls to connect with other people she probably she might start another blog maybe just another daughter blog 
Yeah. I've already trademarked the name for her, so <laughs> no one out there can take it. Was your first awkward moment together? Um, wasn't so awkward for me, but Steph definitely found it very awkward. <laughs> was um, remember when you? I think it might have been after a couple of years of dating. You seen a cockroach in your room, and then <gasps> and then you went down to grab it with a bit of toilet paper or something, and then farted. <laughs> the first time I ever farted in front of Ryan, Steph and was I was so embarrassed, mortified. I literally never, I didn't fart in front of Ryan for like two, three years. So I was. She's, Literally trying to catch this bloody cockroach and then she's, a bed over butt. She's made up for it now though. <laughs> Me? You were shocking. Have you guys ever broken up? No. No. I think when you've been together as long as Ryan and I have, you either like grow together or apart. And obviously it's not always been freaking sunshine and daisies, but I don't know. I just feel like we've both kind of, we've grown together. What do you reckon? Very well said. <laughs> We're pretty boring, aren't we? The favourite parent with the kids? Oh, I don't think... I feel like they're both pretty equal. Uh, they're pretty they're different pre ways. Like, when, yeah. when they're sick all the time, definitely mum. Yeah. Like, when they're, yeah, sick or upset, they want me, of course. When they want to jump on someone, it's me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Pretty equal. I try to be as close as possible. Yeah. And spend a lot of time with them. Good. He's a very good dad. Very good. When they get a bit older and, yeah. Don't know then, because they're gonna. No, I feel like you'll be good when they're teenagers. I feel like you'll. I know a lot of people can have that awkward stage, father and daughter, when they get they're older. Teenagers, yeah. yeah. No, I don't reckon you will. It's scary as a couple starting businesses and relying on each other. It's a pretty good question. Um, so when I met Ryan, he was in his first. He was a first year apprentice, and then I don't know. Like it wasn't. When you I, started your business, I was working, yeah. so it was all right. I sort of always wanted to do that. So yeah, since like year eight. Ryan like just knew that he was going to have his own building business. And then um, before I did this blog and all that, I actually had my own business as a makeup artist and a lot more scared to take the leap to just do that full time. And Ryan was actually the one that told me, like gave me the support and said like, you'll be fine. I think cause he was already in it. He already run his own business and he knew that yeah. I would be all right. You how talented you were like. <laughs> so I just think we're both that type, like we're both quite driven people. And then starting the blog, it was just like a whole new avenue, which I'm still learning. And now with the planners, I just think it all kind of evolved. But yeah, I think the fact that Ryan's business started and I was still working with a, like I had a boss and I had a, still had an income. Yeah, I don't know. If they both happened at the same time, it would have been hard. Yeah, if we both had started our own businesses at the same time, that would have been really stressful. But I think we did one at a time. So yeah, that's pretty much all the questions, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you've learned a lot about Mr. and Mrs. Pace. Mm -hmm. Yes, please subscribe and comment any other videos you'd like me to do below. And yes. Don't try this at home. <laughs> what did you think of your first sit down video, Mr. Pace? Was it good? Yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> I think I might have to go over a nap now. Okay.